Let's take your questions here on the Michigan Football Report live on a Thursday and posting this on demand. What do we say? We're going to post this one on Saturday. So thank you to all you who are watching here on a Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. Let's get some questions. Got to use hashtag Michigan to get on the show. Light up the comments right now. Let's keep it flowing. I'll answer as many questions as we can get to. So use hashtag Michigan. Can we really run in, on Georgia's defense? Um, I don't see why not. It's a better defense, I'm guessing, talent-wise than clearly Ohio State or Iowa as far as better recruited players and athletes. Although, it probably isn't too far off from Ohio State. Maybe you got a better linebacker, uh, bigger safety. But I want to point this out. Alabama exposed Georgia's defense, who had not really had much of a, a win prior to that uh, to that game. The best win is what, Kentucky right now? Like, think about how impressive that really is. They scored more points in one game than Georgia had given up in any one-month stretch this season so far. So they've been kind of exposed there. And if you think about running on them, both Iowa and Ohio State were ranked in the top 12 in the country going to the Michigan game um, in, in yards given up beyond the ground for the season. Michigan put 297 on Ohio State and could have done it all day, every day, including down the stretch when Ohio State knew they had to sell it to stop the run. And then think about Iowa. Same thing. No one can run in Iowa all year. And then Michigan goes in there. I don't remember the yards they got, but you know, basically we're doing whatever they wanted, at least when we got into the second half. And it was clear that Michigan was going to win this game. Will the Michigan Wolverines win this game? Will Michigan beat Georgia? What do you guys think? Give me some whys. Give me some ends. I'm going yes, right? I'm confident. I think Michigan will be confident. This team to me feels like, um, like from an NFL perspective, kind of has like a 2001 Patriots feel, right? Um, you know, just no one really thought they were going to win coming in. They just kind of stick to their brand of football and continue to win. So let up the comments uh, on live here on the live show and afterwards on demand down go in the comments and let me know, will Michigan beat Georgia? Steven Cannon, if Michigan wins the CFB, does that, uh, does that up K McNamara's draft stock and could he leave after the season? Hashtag Michigan. Tom, let me ask you. Why don't you step over onto the show really quick? Here, let me ask Tom. He's going to come on. Uh, if Michigan wins it all, will we McNamara's stock? I think it, it's definitely stock up if he does. After all, we know how much teams love a good quarterback winner. Uh, I think he would go back, yep. but it would at least give him some conversation. It could be a, a Cardell Jones type of yeah. situation where I wasn't really viewed as an early round pick. I, I think somewhere in that range. I mean, it's a bad quarterback class, so who knows? Cool. Right. Back to one of the series. Back to the series. All right. I'll give you my phone here in a minute, too. When we're done with this segment of film, we're going to give you guys some behind the scenes footage. Uh, I won't be able to put it on this, uh, uh, won't be able to put it on the live show, the behind the scenes footage, but check back uh, in a couple, you know, when we post this on uh, on demand on the channel as I'm fixing my cord here and giving Tom my headset. Uh, and we will uh, post the behind the scenes footage at the end of me drinking the six beers in 15 minutes. Thanks so much for the question. J Money Sniper 17, thanks so much. Uh, for following on you know both here on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Appreciate all the support. How much time JJ would get to play against Georgia? I think the plan has got to be what happened against Ohio State, what happened against Iowa. You bring him in in very opportune times, and maybe you set it up, right? Look back at that Blake Corum run where JJ came around the thing. The reason Blake Corum got open is because they thought JJ McCarthy was going to run the ball, right? So it created a seam. And then he broke a tackle, and he was off for the races. Two guys on the field, one's G.J. McCarthy. So I think it's that. You'll get two or three snaps in the first quarter of the second quarter. See what he can do. I'm guessing they give him a shot, right? If, uh, if George is playing the run, give him a shot in that read option. Just go downfield, 60, 70 yards downfield. Take uh, some momentum. But there's a chance here. This could be, a, someone brought this up, a Tua um, uh, Jalen Hurts situation. That if Michigan was down in this game, remember that happened against Georgia four years ago. There's always a chance that Michigan could say, you know what? Season's on the line here. We're down 10 at halftime. Let's just go with the kids, see what he's got, and give him two series. And if he does anything, cool. If not, you know, toss McNamara in there for the fourth quarter and see what happens. Tom, you know who this is here? Courtney Harper. Come on, son, Harper. Remember this guy from the, uh, live, the live streams back in the day? Uh, if Gas leaves, who would you like to get the job? I don't think it's uh, – there's a question. I think it's Matt Weiss, uh, Michigan's quarterback's coach. Um, despite the fact Sharon Moore is the co-OC, there has been a lot of rumblings around – uh, that Harbaugh is ready to give Weiss the, the job after last season. Uh, has a, kept a relationship with him. Weiss came to Stanford back in 2007, I think it was, right when Harbaugh got there. Stuck with him for like three years. Worked for Harbaugh for three or four seasons at Stanford. Got a master's degree from Stanford while I was there as a grad assistant. And then went on, he had one job and worked for his brother for a number of years as running backs coach, analytics, etc. Now he's quarterbacks coach. If you watch Harbaugh on the side of the field, whenever he turns to talk to someone, 
Who's his right? It's like a, a mafia dad. It's like, should we take him out? Should we, you know, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's, that, it's Matt Weiss all the time, right? I think that uh, it is pretty clear that he will be the OC if Gaddis were to leave. Maybe you upgrade him. He's a co-OC. He's a play caller. Mike Hart, associate head coach. Keep Hart around as a program guy. One that's like, hey, Mike, give us five, six, seven years. Maybe you could be the next OC or, hell, next head coach for the Michigan Wolverines. All right, coming in from Lincoln Park, Go Blue. Hey, James, have you seen photos of Aiden Hutchinson's mom? Can't, can't, what is it? can't wait to see her at the Heisman ceremony. What, what kind of question is that? Uh, um, I may have seen a photo of her. I may have said something uh, on her in the past as uh, an immature uh, guy. But uh, you know what? As I'm thinking about this question, um, yeah, you saw it. I saw it coming in. I kind of gave Brett the eye. He, he knows I'm thinking. Let's grow up here, guys. I mean, this is a grown woman. She's 45, 46 years old from what I uh, – I didn't research her or anything like that. I didn't go Google her and look up photos and figure out how she's, you know, getting so much attention from you guys. But let's grow up. Let's not objectify her. This is by Aiden Hutchinson. He's a football player uh, for Michigan. He's brought him back to glory. What a Big Ten championship. The last thing we need to talk about is his mom, what she's going to look like at the Heisman ceremony. I have no idea. What was that? Hold on. Bruce in my ear. So they want to show something for me on screen here, I guess. I don't know what it's going to be. Good. Oh, you guys. You sons of guns. The Chat Sports production people. I got like a dozen guys behind here. It's like, James, check this out. We got to show you something. That's actually Hutchinson's mom, right? And these are all pictures, I guess, as they're telling me in my ear. These are just from her public Instagram account uh, that people can have. I think it's despicable. I think it's disgusting. If you Google search Aiden Hutchinson's mom, uh, you're, you're a sick person. Um, but... Sup? Sup? I don't, I don't, this is kind of, James, come on. Don't follow her, by the way. You see that. You see the yellow things. Do not follow Aiden's mom on Instagram. If you do, you're despicable. It's at Melissa Hutch. Avoid it at all costs. I'm going to go check it out just to make sure I don't follow her. Um, and, and maybe you guys, too. If you do follow her, make sure you unfollow her because, you know, come on, guys. This is his mother. It's his mother. She birthed him. All right? She's a family. Luther Sanders coming in. He's not a guy asking about uh, anyone's mom. <laughs> I can't believe. Although, there's a lot of buzz out of Hutchins' mom coming out of Saturday, Iowa. I've said some things like, whoa, you know, whatever. Is it her sister? Do you believe Diamond Edwards will be? Yeah, we should have asked about that after the beers. Uh, ask again. If you guys want to ask me once the beers start, uh, once they start kicking in, I'll, uh, I'll be ready to, to, ready to go. Um, do you believe Diamond Edwards will be a difference maker in this game also? Yes, and he has to be. What they brought to the table with him is unbelievable. One game, he caught 10 passes. The next game, he's making one-handed catches. Then he's getting goal line. And that was a pretty cool move when he scored that touchdown. I think is the second to last one uh, for Michigan. It was, it was in the Ohio State, Ohio State game, right? Am I thinking about this right? Yeah, where he just kind of went like this with the ball over the, the goal line at there and got the, uh, got the win. It was that Iowa. I'm confusing my touchdowns for him. But then he also threw a 50, 47-yard pass in the air. That was amazing. Brendan Taylor is Diamond Edwards QB1. Good question. Thanks to the production staff for finding these questions, stringing them together. Um, that's awesome. I mean, that's, uh, that's an awesome take because um, there was a funny tweet out there. Have you guys ever seen that gif where the, the guy, I think it's like an Iranian guy or something like that, who got arrested and he kind of comes walking out, strutting to talk to the media and like does one of these? That was uh, Diamond Edwards walking into Michigan's quarterback meeting on Monday. Um, he's certainly not going to be QB1, but... I have never seen a non-quarterback throw a better deep ball in an actual big-time football game, college or pro, than Diamond Edwards did. 47 yards in stride to Roman Wilson uh, last week. So exciting stuff for him. I think we're going to see a lot of that. And I can't wait to see him explode. Hassan Hassan is going to go to the NFL. I don't think there's any questions about it. Um, and uh, I think Diamond Edwards will be a Heisman candidate, kind of a bigger Reggie Bush, maybe not as fast, but that kind of versatility. Let's get a question here. Answer it live or down in the comments if you're watching this show later on. Are you headed to Miami for the Orange Bowl? I need to figure out from you guys because I actually, like, let's talk about the Michigan, the Michigan uh, Athletics Department. Um, the Yoder family has had season tickets for a number of years. The emails go to my dad. And from what I've heard, the email came out, like, Friday night or Saturday morning, and they had a deadline before the, like, you had to opt in for either the Rose Bowl, the Fiesta Bowl, the CFP semifinal, and they wouldn't tell you where it was. You had to put your credit card down, buy tickets before the announcement happened. I think that's kind of unfair, right? I do. Uh, so, you know, if I go, it's going to have to be media credentials or, you know, buy tickets on the secondary market. They're sold out, insane prices, but I don't know if you guys let me know. Are you going to the Orange Bowl? 
I want to remind you one more time. I want to remind you one more time as I fumble the words. No beers yet. Um, Big Ten Championship gear on sale. Available right now in most sizes. T-shirts, sweatshirts, some Michigan Georgia stuff. T-shirts, sweatshirts. Might be some hats in there now too. And just some college football playoff Michigan football stuff. Chatsports.com slash champs. I'll put it down in the description of the video, which it's in on live and on on demand or in the comments. So go down and get it. Use that link. Send it to a friend. Say, hey, here's what you can give me an awesome Christmas gift. How much will you be up? Uh, how much will you up the stakes if we beat Georgia, Bama in regards to celebratory? Yeah, okay, good question. I was like, where's this going? The celebratory drinks, right? So, um, it was going to Vegas to beat Ohio State. I don't think I can make that big a deal out of Georgia, right? If I'm at the game, I'll just go out on on, uh, on um, uh, South Beach and, and get nuts with it and go to Indianapolis. How fun is it to Indianapolis? Can you get? It's not very time you went there last year, right? It's not that fun at night. Maybe it will be for the college football playoff with Michigan fans, but I would not stop uh, partying until the sun came up. I'd do a show the next morning at 6 a.m. Uh, all kinds of cut up, but like. I'd probably be happy for another year. Like I don't think anything could, could make me unhappy if Michigan wins the national title. So uh, they might just become a degenerate and just be like, drinking every show from, from then on out. So thanks for the question, uh, Ryland31. King Drago, and this is going to be our last one. So stick with us. Uh, we are going to get the, uh, the live drink in here. Got 350 or so of you guys watching live. Do you think Joe Milton is feeling now? Uh, how do you think Joe Milton is feeling now after seeing what Michigan had done without him? Hashtag Michigan. It's funny. I mean, I have these conversations with Michigan fans, non-Michigan fans, and people are just perplexed. How did Joe Milton get the starting job over Cade McNamara last year? How is it even possible that they went with him? Knowing what you saw in-game, how bad of a passer he is at Michigan. At Tennessee, it was a disaster. And then we, what was that one play where he, they had a you know, fourth down or last play of the game, and he's walked out of bounds with absolutely no awareness? So he's got to just be like, Damn, I should have changed a tight end back when they gave me the opportunity in 2019. So, um, best of luck to him. No ill will, although, you know, he kind of maybe there's a lot of rumors he talked some trash to Michigan and coaching staff, either subliminally, you know, low down or whatever when he left and said he's going to come back and drop 50 on Michigan, all that stuff. So, best of luck to him. I don't think he has much of a future, though, as a quarterback.